class too. Um, I thought I would do kind of a mid-December update. Um, my pile in my room has started to kind of increase in size of things that I wanted to show you. So I'm like, you know what? I got a few minutes on this cold Sunday morning and uh, I thought I'd show you. So a little bit of life update. Um, as I said, I live in uh, southern Minnesota. It is like cold outside. Um, I looked this morning when I woke up at 7.30 and it was like minus 28 Fahrenheit. That's cold. There is frost I can see on all of our windows and it is just cold. So <laughs> it's beautiful, it's sunny, I can see out my window right now. Um, and maybe I'll show you some footage of our backyard just so you can kind of see the winter wonderland I'm living in. But gosh darn, it's cold. <laughs> Um, but what's nice is that um, my office and craft up here are located on the second floor, which is, they're the only two rooms on uh, our second floor because it's kind of like a loft. And there's a fireplace down below in our um, living room. And so the heat all comes up here. So I'm actually quite warm up here, but man, it's cold. I, I know our dog, we let him out and he, get, he, he took two steps out and then wanted to come right back in. <laughs> So uh, anyway, that's that's the weather up here in the Great White North. So um, yeah, but things are going well. Um, next week is my last week of work of the year. Yay! Um, I have off work starting Friday of next week and I don't come back till uh, January 3rd. So I got a good long time off and I'm very excited. I have some pretty awesome crafting plans, um, as well as like cleaning and family stuff, whatever. Uh, my husband actually recently got a new job. He now works um, at a local hog barn in their maintenance department, um, which is really awesome. He goes to work nice and early and it gives me a chance. Then I have about an hour between, cause he has to be at work at six. I don't have to be at work till seven. So I have about an hour in there cause we still get up together and eat breakfast it's kind of like our time together and then um, during that hour I have been stitching and then in the evenings if any of you guys follow me on Instagram which I will put my Instagram handle in the <laughs> somewhere um, I have been working then on the Thomas Kin Kincaid Church but anyway ramblings aside because <laughs> I tend to ramble um, let's start at the very beginning so as I said, um, with an ingredients to my husband, because I really need to work on this, and I'm sorry, my stuff is behind me, so that's why I'm reaching over here. Um, he wanted me to work on the Thomas Kincaid Wedding Chapel 1 during the month of December, and I agreed because while I like full coverage pieces, it's... Uh, it, it takes motivation to get me to work on it like and once I'm in it, then I'm fine, but it's like the, the thought of getting it out, because I, I work I have the pattern, I scanned it in, so I have it either on my iPad or on my computer, and I don't know, it's like that extra step to like figure out where I am that's just, I don't know. Does anyone else have that problem with full coverage pieces? I know a lot of people who do Hades, man. Whew, maybe one of those days. Maybe if I finish this one. Um, but anyway, so this is for my husband. So I told him I'd worked on it for the month of December um, exclusively, but then I worked on something else too, because. My husband don't own me. Well, anyway. Um, so, I will shoot up above um, what this looked like before. And here it is now. Make sure it's in frame. So, I didn't take it out of the Q-snap yet again. Because um, I'm sort of lazy, but as you can see, I almost have the horse and carriage done uh, over here. And then working on this snow and more of the church, etc. Um, just really zooming in there. But I, oh, I, it is coming along. Um, as you can see with kind of the first things I did is I got rid of all the park threads that were kind of hanging out over here. Um, and then I've kind of just been going cross country and I will do something that, you know, not a lot of people do, but whatever. Here's my back. I mean, it's a little crazy, like it's pretty crazy, but it's not the worst. 
well, at least not to me, but it, it is cross country. So there is, you know, some threads just hanging out. Well, that's my needle, but you know. Anyway, so yeah, I think this is going awesome. I'm so excited that you can see a horse now. <laughs> Of course, you know, working on it, you're like so close to it that you can't see anything. And then I like hold it back and I'm like, dang. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of see this come together and see kind of the flow of, you know, of this, of this coming alive. Again, um, if you would like to see, I post daily pictures on my Instagram. Um, so if you're, if you're interested, check it out. So this was kind of my main project that I've been working on. But then, as I said, with my husband going to work in the mornings, I have had an hour to myself. And of course, like, what are you gonna do? Stitch, obviously. <laughs> so I pulled out, cause this one's kind of easy to work on. I pulled out my um, fantasy, Lakeside Fantasy, um, Lakeside Needlecraft Fantasy Cell by Durian Jones. And I will post a picture of where it was before. And this is not so dramatic, but here it is now. Um, as you can see, I am working on September. And I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this because the contrast isn't so high. But I finished the green and then I started working on blue. And that's it. And this is a uh, Motion City Soundtrack Needle Minder that I made myself. But otherwise it looks the same as it did before. So very, very small progress, but progress nonetheless. I've been having a really good time. I've been watching floss tube and then I just have about an hour to stitch by myself and it's been really nice. Um, uh, this piece, by the way, is being done on 28 Count Monaco by Mo's Sale in the color D10, I believe. Um, and then I am replacing with DMC metallics as I see necessary. Otherwise, I'm using the required DMC threads. So anyway, that's that. And that's what I've been stitching on. I've gotten a lot of stitchy time, but most of it has been done on the Thomas Kincaid Church. So that's kind of all I have to show. But, um, other things. So I have two, two things. First of all is I won a Instagram challenge and I believe her Instagram handle is A-E-R-T or A-E-T-R, something like that, like 11 one one one. Anyway, I will, I will put the information on the screen, don't worry, because um, I don't know if she wants me to say her real name. But anyway, she hosted a giveaway on Instagram, and I won one of them, so I will kind of show you. These are super cute kits. Um, I have full intention of making these for my mother-in-law for Christmas next year, because they're super cute. So the first one that I won, um, these are all by Gallery of Stitches by Bucilla. So this one is called Madonna and Child, and I will try to, there we go, reduce the glare. And they're nice, because they come with the frame and the fabric and the floss and everything. Or maybe the floss, yeah, the floss is in here. So anyway, so that's Madonna and Child. Cute for Christmas. And then we have uh, the Nativity. Layer. As I said, it's bright and sunny today. This one's cute, so it's more like a circular frame. And then last, we have Baby Jesus. And there he is. So I think these are super cute, and it's more of like a heart shape. You can't see that at all, like a heart shape frame. But I think these are really awesome. So thank you so much um, for having this giveaway, and I'm so glad that I won. And I thought that was all I was going to get. But then she added in some little extra goodies in the bag. So I thought I would share them. The first is a skein of DMC B5200, which you can never have enough of. So thank you. And then a skein of Anchor Black, which I have never used Anchor Black. So I'm like super excited to compare it to the DMC. So this was like very exciting for me. <laughs> and then, oh, ho, ho, ho. Another thing that I've never had before, this is the Gloriana Silk in Blue Hawaii. Yep, 12 strand silk, Blue Hawaii. I think it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, is it beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but, ooh, I'm excited. So, yay, thank you so much. Oh, and last but not least, we have a floss organizer, I believe this is what it is, from Rosewood Manor. If anyone knows kind of how to use these, let me know. 
I like it. I don't know if you like wind the floss around these because there's these like little holes in one side, like a little cutout piece. You know, it's from Rosewood Manor. I think it's cute, but I'm not entirely sure how to use this. So if anybody knows, please comment down below. So thank you so much. That was very generous of you. And I'm very excited um, and very, very thankful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This community, I know I've said this about a million times, but this community is just so wonderful. So thank you so much for your generosity. Um, that's awesome. And then I also, one of um, my subscribers here, uh, she had seen me talk about David's tea. And so she wanted to send me some. Um, she lives in Canada where it's a little more accessible than um, here in Minnesota. So, uh, cause David's tea is a Canadian company. And so she said, could I send you some? And I was like, uh, yeah, uh, that would be awesome because I love tea. So um, she sent me this box uh, full of David's tea and I forgot to bring all this stuff upstairs. So I will insert a picture here of all the things that she sent me. And let's do a little review because of course I've been drinking some of them. So I have my three favorites up here and by three favorites, these are the ones I've gone through. So as I said, I love tea. So this is all David's tea. The first one is called coffee cake, um, which has black tea, candied fruit, uh, cherry, elderberry, sunflower, pineapple, citric acid, um, and yeah, that's it. Um, this one's really good. It is, I don't really necessarily taste the fruit in it. Um, it smells so good. Let's just take a whiff. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing. It's like, it's definitely sweet, kind of like a caramel sort of taste, um, but like, not like sickeningly sweet. So anyway, I really liked coffee cake. And then this one is called Sleigh Ride, which is apple, hibiscus blossoms, pineapple, papaya, beetroot, cinnamon, raisins, coconut, roasted almonds, um, popped rice, natural and artificial flavoring, contains almonds and coconut. This one is delicious. It is unique. Like it is definitely unique. When, and when I made it, because it has the beetroot in it, it is bright. It's like a bright pink tea. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. It. I recommend it. Sleigh ride. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it definitely is like an appley, flowery sort of flavor. But it. I mean, it's good. So, sleigh ride. Recommend it. And then the other one that I'm holding is Santa's Secret, which is black tea, peppermint sprinkles. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, it's all the ingredients of this sprinkles. Um, yep. So it's basically black tea and peppermint with these like little candy sprinkles. So that makes it, I wish I still had some in here because they're like little candy cane shapes. Um, yeah, but it's basically like chocolate peppermint. It's so good. It's so good. I enjoyed this thoroughly. So thank you so, so much. So here's the three. Um, I have been thoroughly enjoying everything. She also sent me like one of the tins was of the carrot cake that I'd mentioned before and then a tin of um, lime gelato, which I have at work right now. And funny story, so I have a bee house teapot that I have at work um, that I use to diffuse tea because I like to make like a pot and then kind of like drink it, you know, like pour it into like a cup. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, and um, I work in what we call the super cube. So there's four people in one giant area. There's no like walls between us. We're all in one big room. And so of course, like if anybody's eating something or whatever, like you can smell it in the whole room. And so every time I make the lime gelato, one of my coworkers is like, what smells so good? I'm like, oh, it's just my tea. Go ahead and be jealous. Um, they're all coffee drinkers. The lime gelato from David's tea is also really good. So thank you so much. That was, I was so excited when I got the box in the mail. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, you are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, and, uh, so I'm going to be going home, uh, to, uh, the Twin Cities for Christmas and, um, I'm hoping to go to David's tea while I'm there, um, so that I can pick up some more stuff because I just kind of an addict. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of a tea addict in general though. Like, I just really like tea. So anyway, thank you so much. Um, Last on my list of things that I was going to talk about. So I kind of went on a 
framing spree. Um, and I had my list of stuff. I had time, I had a couple days off for vacation and I went to Walmart and I had a list of all the things that I wanted to get framed and I just went ahead and picked out frames at Walmart and attempted to frame them myself. Some turned out well, some didn't turn out well, but we'll go through them. So the first is actually I framed the National Park Sal, which is for um, someone special who I think watches my videos, so I'm not going to say who. And I am not going to post a picture of it either because as I said, this is for a Christmas present for somebody that I think watches my videos. So I'm not going to post a picture, but it turned out really cute. So remind me after Christmas and I will show you what that one looked like. It's on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, which I know I've said like a million times now, but um, I did post a picture there because I know this person does not have Instagram. Um, then the next one. Um, I know I showed this before, um, but this was a piece that I found actually in my grandma's stash and um, I decided to get it framed and I found the perfect frame, at least in my opinion. So, ta-da! Is this not the cutest thing ever? I will list down below the name of this pattern in case anybody's interested, but my grandma did this. I found this, this is gonna be funny. So my husband asked me, he's like, well, where'd you find this frame? And I'm like, oh, you know, in the nautical section. He's like, the nautical section of the frames at Walmart. I'm like, yeah, they had like a whole like nautical, like boat section of the frames. And I think this is supposed to look like a deck or something. I don't know, but I think actually it looks really good with this piece. Um, so this is now in our living room. So thank you grandma for stitching it. And uh, I think this looks really awesome. So yay, this one turned out probably the best. So I like it. I like it a lot. The second one, this one I'm gonna have to, well, I'll show you. I found the perfect frame, but I need to get mats for it. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to have the, the person, I think I'm gonna have to get this professionally framed. There's a frame shop in Marshall, which isn't that far away from my house. Um, so I think I'm gonna have her actually professionally frame it, but I like the frame. It just, I think I wanna put a white mat around it. Um, so this is Sex Pistols by Clouds Factory. I don't know I've showed this before, but I think the black frame looks really nice, but I'd like a white mat around it because I feel like it's way too, like, green. And this is, oh gosh. I can't remember the color. I know it's a picture of this plus fabric. I'll list it down below if I remember to, but anyway. So yeah, that's, this is for my husband. He's a huge Sex Pistols fan. Um, so this is Sex Pistols by Cloud Factory. Which I like a lot. I just think it needs, needs a mat. And then this one, this one. <laughs> so I stitched this. I've posted pictures of it. I mean, and I never noticed this until my husband said something. So this is the wedding sampler. And I actually think the framing turned out really well. If I can get it in frame. Here's the wedding sampler. My husband's name is Jeremy. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Look at how I spelled, I don't know if it's in focus. Look how I spelled Jeremy. J-E-R-E-R-M-Y. Rachel, what the heck is your problem? <clears throat> oh, sorry. I spelled my own husband's name wrong on our wedding sampler. Good lord, people. What, what is my problem? So I'm gonna have to take this apart and obviously restitch it so that his name is correct. But he, I was showing this to him and I'm like, oh, I think this turned out so well. And he's like, Rachel, you spelled my name wrong. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap. But I think the frame and everything, I think this, I think it looks really good. I just need to fix that. So I will take it apart. I will fix his name put it back in this frame. So that was my framing party. And I am very proud of it. I'm um, framing myself. I think a few of them were good. I think I need more practice. Um, and then I definitely need some help in terms of like mats and stuff. So, um, but there's a frame shop, as I said, in Marshall and, and uh, I've talked to her before, the woman that owns it. And she said that she could, you know, cut me mats or whatever and help me with whatever pieces that I needed help with. So all in all, I think that's a success. And that is what I have around me. So I am going to end this video. Um, I hope you all are having a wonderful stitchy day. I hope the weather's nice where you are or if you're up here in the great white north like me, I hope you're staying warm. 
um, snuggle up, get a fire, get somebody, get your dog, whatever. Snuggle up, bundle up, and uh, just stay warm out there. So um, I'll throw in some vlog footage at the end of the cold and the snow outside, but other than that, uh, have a wonderful day, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye!